Hey, this is Shannon, and today I'm here to talk to you guys about this. This is the Webster's Pages Pocket Traveler's Notebook, and this is the Aspen Green one. I got this a couple of months ago, and I wanted to share this with you guys because you can actually fit some Hobonichi stuff in here. So if you're into Hobonichi stuff, but just want some different cover options, then this might be a, a good option for you, eh? So when you buy this, it comes in this cute little box. This one here, this cute little gift box. So if you want to give it as a gift, it's got a nice little presentation there for you. The only thing is, I wanted to mention that when I bought this, I also bought the pink stitched stripe one. And that one I cannot wholeheartedly recommend only because I got one that was flawed and I'll show it to you guys later on uh, towards the end of the video so you can see the flaw. They actually sent me a new one and the new one was better but I just wanted to show you guys what was wrong with it but I'll show you that later on because I do like this one. This is the Aspen Green one and I really do like this one. The only thing I wanted to mention to you guys is that the holes are not centered and I was looking up some pictures on Google to see if that was a common problem and I did see a bunch of other covers that had off-center holes. Some of them were centered really nicely and some of them had the hole like the top holes off to the left and then the bottom holes off to the right so they were kind of on a slant and then some of them had the holes off to the left and here you can see that the holes are off to the right a little bit. It's not that big of a deal but I just wanted to point it out in case there are people who are kind of sticklerish about these sort of details. What I like about this is that it's faux suede so it's animal friendly and it has this nice thick spine on it so you can fit some chunky things in there right so you see that nice thick spine. Another little detail that might kind of bother some people is that this part is stitched which is which is great. I like the stitch detail on there right but then the edges here are not finished in any kind of way so you can see that they're kind of frayed a little bit and I kind of think that over time it might fray a little bit more with wear. You know if you throw this in your bag a lot then you might kind of get more fraying there so I just want to point that out as well. This little tag is faux leather so this is also animal friendly and this one says discover. The other covers they have different messages on them but this one says discover right there and then the back is blank. Right? And it's got this elastic here like uh, typical Travers Notebook covers and inside you get four elastics and the way that the elastics are bound they have that little metal crimp bead thingy in there, right? so it's not tied, it's just got that little metal piece there, right? and it comes with one notebook insert. They do sell the notebook separately if you want in sets of two, so if you want to pick up extra notebooks you can do that. This one has a craft cover, it's this thick craft paper cover and then blank pages on the inside, and then the word hello is debossed into the front cover, right? and it's just plain on the back there. Let me just get my ruler so I can measure this for you. Okay, so width-wise, you can see that this is three and a half inches wide, and the height of this is five and a half inches. Okay, five and a half inches tall there, and this notebook is staple bound with two staples. So if you're wondering what the dimensions of the cover are, they are, if you're kind of measuring from roughly from the spine to the edge there, it's a little bit over four and a quarter inches wide, and the height is just under six and a quarter inches tall and then the spine here the stitched piece I'm just measuring from the edge to the edge is just under one and a half inches wide okay so the material that they use to make this is quite soft it has a nice feel to it and you can see that when you run your fingers across it it changes <laughs> kind of like real suede but this is animal friendly which is which is great I'm so glad that they went with faux suede for this and then the inside is faux leather So inside you can see that you get this little window pocket right here, and then this curved pocket right there, and another pocket here, another pocket here, curved pocket here, and another little pocket right here. And then this particular one has this metallic gold on the inside there. In the bottom left you have this little Webster's Pages foil stamping right there, and then in the bottom right there's the Webster's Pages URL, right? and then there's this elastic pen loop, this grey elastic pen loop right there, and then the back cover is just plain like that. All right, so now let's check out what Hobonichi stuff will fit in this, right? This is the A6 Techo. This is the one that has the full year in one book. This will actually fit in here, which is so awesome, right? So when I put my Techo in here, I actually like to use the two middle elastics, and that's just my personal preference. You can do whatever you like, right? But just because the Techo is kind of thick and it's got a little bit of chunk to it, I just kind of feel more comfortable having two elastics holding it. Right? So you can see that it fits very nicely in there. Let's close this thing up. You can see it fits very nicely. There you go. Hey? Isn't that great? But I know this might not really help 
people, if they've already been using the Tejo and they want to see what a thicker Tejo is going to look like in there. So I'm going to bring in the one I've been using this year. All right, so here's the Tejo I've been using this year, and this is actually very tame for me. It's very slim for me, because <laughs> usually my journals get really, really chunky, right? But this is actually pretty tame because I... Well, there was a couple of months of pages that I just basically wrote a lot of notes down about what I packed for a move and things that I was looking for, like furniture I was looking for, I just made notes about that kind of stuff. So I didn't go full out on the decorating in this one. And I also used a lot of washi stickers because this year I've just been going crazy about cutting my own washi stickers. <laughs> I've just been kind of obsessed with that. So those are pretty thin, right? And so that's why the, the book is pretty thin itself. It's not too crazy. All right, so there's my current A6 tattoo on the cover. And you can see it still does very well. Let's close this up. And there you go! It fits very nicely, and this thick spine really helps with that, eh? Alright, so let's add some more stuff. So with my 2019 Hobonichi order, I picked up these. The photo album and the card case, and these fit very nicely as well. This one here, I actually have another one already, and I've been using it to store stickers, so let me bring that one in. So here's the one that I've been using as a sticker album. I just put some little sticker sheets in there, and this fits in there very nicely. Let's put this in this elastic in the front. There you go, slides right in. And then this one, I can put it here. The only thing is, well, I'll show you in a moment. So now that that's in there, you can kind of see that the card case in the back, in particular, it kind of, I'm not sure if you can see it actually, but it kind of curves because of my A6 Techo in there. It does curve a little bit. So if that's something that would bother you, like the, the, the one in the front seems to be doing a little bit better, right? but the one in the back is curving a little bit, and that might be because of the holes being kind of more to the right. You know? But you can kind of see that the card case is curving a bit. But what you can do, if you're concerned about that, is you can take this out of the elastic, and you can store it in the pocket. So you can just kind of take the back cover there and put that in the back pocket right here. So you can see that the left edge is still kind of, you know, going into that spine area, right? But it's not as far as the elastic is, right? So when you close it, it does still curve a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was before. And the same thing happens with the weekly supplement. So if you get the Hobonichi weekly supplement, this is from 2016, but the new one basically looks the same, right? It's the same size and everything. So if you want to put that in the elastic, And you can see that it kind of curves a little bit too much. See that? But if you put it in that back pocket, then it just sits a lot better in there. See that? Sits much better in the back pocket there. Okay, so let's see what else will fit in here from the Hobonichi range. I'm just going to take this out for the time being. Okay, so here are a couple of Hobonichi stencils. This pocket here, I should mention that this pocket is actually stitched closed right there. Right there. So it doesn't actually go all the way to the bottom. You can't really put anything past that stitch line right there. This stencil will not fit in the pocket. It's too wide, but you can fit it here. Fit it there, or you can fit it in there if you like. It kind of disappears if you put it in there. But if you fit it here, you can see it. Right? This stencil right here will fit width-wise, but because this pocket is stitched closed right there, this one will actually stick up past the edge of the pocket. So you can see right there. Okay? But this will fit in the back pocket. This little pocket right there. Actually fits very nicely. <laughs> so here are some more accessories I got from Hobonichi. These two here, they just fold out like this and then they hold little translucent sticky notes in them. Okay? And these are too wide for the pocket there. But you can fit them in this pocket or in there, right? And this is the little kita thingy. It has a little washi stickers in it, washi strips. This is also too wide for the pocket. It looks like it'll fit, but it's just too tight of a fit. But you can fit it in there. And then this cute little film fusion. This is the translucent sticky notes from Hobonichi. This one's called With Friends. I love this one because they're cute little animals. This is also a little bit too wide for there. It looks like it's going to fit, but it's just too tight. You can fit it in there, though. 
And even in the back pocket, it just seems like it's too tight. And you could try to shove it in there, but I don't really want to... I don't really want to risk it. So here are some more sticky notes from Pokemon These are all translucent sticky notes. Unfortunately, the Coco Fusion, they've changed them to Japan only this year. I'm not sure why. But they'll fit right there just fine. And these will fit as well, the little Kita ones. Yeah. So here's the folder set from Hobini Tea. This is a smaller size folder set. Unfortunately, these are a little bit too tall for these pockets here. It's just, I just don't want to try shoving it in there. I mean, you could try to because it looks like it'll fit, but it just seems like it's... I'm probably going to, you know, bend these edges or something. I don't want to do that. So this here, this is a little washi sampler thingy that I put together with my empty Mackey Mackey. I bought the empty Mackey from Hobonichi, but you don't actually have to buy the little tool, the winding tool, to use this. You can just buy these little, they call them flat roll cores, but they're just basically a, a long bobbin, right? And then you can just wind your own washi tape on there by hand if you like. And this will fit if you want to put it in there. Or in the back pocket, of course. Hey. Here are the cute little plans, more important than work stickers from Hobonichi, and you can fit these in there if you want, or in there. And here are some other sticker sheets that I bought through Hobonichi. These ones, these ones are a little bit taller than this one here, and these ones, when I tried to fit them in there, it was just slightly too snug. I mean, you could trim off the edge if you really want to put these stickers in there, right? But it was a little bit too snug of a fit, so you can see that when I try to shove them through there, kind of like dented the corners a little bit. It's a little bit too tight, but if you really, really want to stick these in the pocket, you can just trim off the edge there. This one will fit. Just like that. Here's a pen from Hobonichi, the free pen from the 2019 store, and this will fit in the pen loop just fine. There you go. Let's see what it looks like when it's closed up. So there it is with the pen, it's just fine. So if you're curious about the planner charm that you saw in my video thumbnail, this is it right here. <laughs> I actually put this together myself very, very simply, and I just use these embellishments that I bought from scrapper.com. And this little clasp here is just off of a keychain. So if you want to make your own planner charms, you really don't have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. You can just, I would suggest just looking through your old necklaces and bracelets and keychains and just take apart things that you don't need anymore or don't use anymore, you know? And you can just use them for their parts, right? So you can just take your keychain or necklace lobster claw clasps or bracelet lobster claw clasps, make your own little charms. It's very, very simple. And I'll show you the little embellishments that I use. So I took one of these little keychain clasps, and I like these kinds because they turn, the little piece here turns, eh? And then I took beaded strands, and these are from America Crafts, one of their Dear Lizzie collections. I can't remember the name of the collection, but they have these cute little hand-painted wooden bead embellishments, and I really like these because they're totally my style, right? So I bought two packs of these. Unfortunately, Scrapbook.com no longer has these in stock, but I just wanted to show you. If you want to search around for Dear Lizzie American Crafts beaded strands, that's what they're called. Beaded strands right there. And a pack of four. They're really cute. And then this little thing here is a tassel from Crate Paper's Here and There collection. It comes in a pack of four like that. And this one actually has a little jump ring on it already. See that? So for mine here, I ended up using the jump ring that's on the tassel. And so I took off the jump ring that's on the little keychain. And then what I did was I took the two beaded strands, and you can see that the loop up here is kind of long. And just because I was playing around with it a little bit to see how I'd like for them to sit <laughs> next to each other, I ended up just rearranging the knots. So I just kind of shifted that knot closer up and then made the lower knot higher up, right? And that way I made the loop smaller. See that? And that way they just sat in a way that I liked more, right? Because before, I kind of tried different things. And before I tried hanging these two, the beaded strands, and this tassel from the thingy there, the little jump ring there, but then just the way they were sitting looked a little bit funny to me. So this just ended up being the way I liked it. But you can always play around with your charms and things and get the arrangement that you like, right? So I just like the way they sit in this way. That's why I went with that. And you can see that it makes for a fun little planner charm. And there it is there. Yeah, I love the way this turned out. I gotta say, I really love the way this turned out because it's just totally me. I love the colors and the mix of beads and the mix of materials, you know? I just it's just fun to me. And having this nice chunky charm on there, it's, I just think it's really fun. <laughs> so I mentioned to you guys that I bought the pink stitch stripe one as well, and here it is. And the reason I cannot wholeheartedly recommend this is because, I don't know if you can see that, there are these weird little, they look like little bumps, right? 
when you run your finger across them, it's almost like, I don't know how they make these, I don't know if they fuse the materials together with some glue first and then stitch them, I'm not sure if that's how they make them, but it almost seems like there's little air pockets in there, and then a couple of these little bumps, when you run your finger across it, you can feel something hard under there, like it feels like there's a little rock under that one right there. So this is weird, right? So I wasn't sure if that was, you know, a regular occurrence with these ones, but I emailed pictures to scrapper.com and then they sent me a new one. And you can see here, the back, there's also some stuff there, right? Okay, just, doesn't that look sort of strange, eh? I wasn't sure if other people had this problem or showed this problem in videos, so I looked up other videos about these uh, pocket travelers and also the standard travelers notebooks from Webster's Pages, and I did see a couple other videos, I tried to track them down so I can link them for you, but both of hers had these weird bumps as well. So that's why I just can't really recommend these to you guys because let's say you order it, right? You can't pick the one that you get, so you might end up waiting and then paying customs fees and stuff and then if you get something, I mean I had to pay customs fees in my order, right? So to get this was a little bit disappointing to me just to see all that weird little bumps there. Although the holes on this one are centered a little bit better than the green one. So there's that, I guess. <laughs> on the inside, oh, let me just point out what it says here. This one says awesome on the little tag right there. And this one, the this tag has the faux suede material on it. And the back is blank. So the one on the aspen green one had the faux leather tag, right? This was the faux suede tag there. And then the inside looks like this. So we got this pale, pale kind of blush pink on the inside there. And then that bright pink there, the faux suede there, instead of the faux leather, and then the elastic is white. So let me just bring in the one that they sent me as a replacement. Okay, so here's one that they sent me as a replacement, and this one is better than the previous one. It's not as bumpy, you can see that it looks much better. If I really want to nitpick, which I don't, but if I was to nitpick then there's like a couple little bumps, but it's not that bad, right? The back actually looks better than the front, there's like no bumps on it. So I do appreciate that they sent me a new one. Their customer service is very nice, you know, and they sent me this new one, which is which is awesome, right? But the reason why I don't feel super comfortable in recommending the pink one to you guys is because you cannot pick it. You can't pick the one that you get, right? Because it comes in a box and then the box is shrink wrapped, so there's no way for you to know if you're gonna get one that has funny looking bumps on it. That's that's the only reason why I can't wholeheartedly recommend it. But you know, if you really like this and you want to kind of just take a chance on it, you could always do that, eh? Alright, so there you have it guys, I hope this helped you if you're thinking about getting some covers for your Hobonichi and just want some more options, eh? I just want to say thanks for watching, and hopefully catch you next time. Alright, bye!